Hello, my name is Andrew Thomas. I'm a practicing psychotherapist on the south coast of England, and you're very welcome to this short introduction to the Rainbow Mapping website and companion YouTube channel, and in particular the Rainbow Map, which was the first therapeutic tool I developed, uh, which I started in 2014. Today, the Rainbow Map and other concepts and tools that you can find on the website and YouTube channel are being used by psychotherapists and counsellors across the world in their work with thousands of clients. And increasingly, it's being used, the tools and the concepts are being used by interested members of the public uh, directly in their own life as self-help tools. So back in 2014, I'll just say a couple of words about what started all of this off. I was looking for something that enabled my clients to become much more self-aware of how their minds, brains and bodies triggered uh, as they went into episodes of conflict. I specialise in working with couples. Uh, I do work with individuals from time to time. So it's probably no surprise that I was working with people who could uh, experience pretty intense episodes of conflict. I couldn't find anything that in a way was jargon free or didn't require some sort of wading through by my clients uh, of some theory. Uh, and so that's what got me going. And by the end of 2014, I was introducing early versions of the rainbow map into my work. And the reaction from my clients was very positive. Uh, they reacted to it uh, you know, in, in a way that was very engaging. Uh, and it enriched the conversations we were having and really supported the work we were doing on developing resources that would help them reduce the speed, the intensity and the duration of the triggered experience. Um, I'm not suggesting it was a panacea that, that all the problems were solved, but it was proving to be a very useful tool. And like most mental health professionals, uh, I carry around a toolbox uh, and we'll reach into it from time to time for different sorts of approaches and techniques that might be useful in the work that I'm doing with my clients. Uh, and so other psychotherapists and counsellors started to take an interest in the rainbow map. They introduced it into their own work and reported similar outcomes. And so rolling on to today, uh, there, as I mentioned, there are mental health professionals across the world working th through all mainstream modalities who are introducing the rainbow map into the work with clients who are bringing issues such as trauma, uh, addiction, uh, anxiety, depression. They're working using the rainbow map uh, with individuals, couples, uh, families and groups. So it's proved itself to be a very versatile tool. So uh, why don't I actually show you the rainbow map now? And by doing that, I'll also be able to signpost uh, you to other resources uh, and techniques, concepts on this website that you might find interesting and hopefully useful. So on the rainbow mapping website, there's a page, a PDF library, where you can print out any of the resources uh, in connection with uh, the rainbow map or other tools and concepts on the website. Uh, everything is uh, accessible free of charge as I do all of my work in connection with this on a not-for-profit basis. So we're going to have a look at a standard rainbow map. There are some other versions uh, as you can see even a rainbow map with no colors that, is, that is being used by art therapists in their work with their clients. So why don't we click on the uh, standard rainbow map so it will open up in a PDF form. I'm using Microsoft Edge because as a browser because it uses uh, it comes ready packaged with annotation tools um, as you can see. So uh, if you're using Safari or Chrome or any of the any browsers you can access apps that will allow you to to do this very easily. So here you've got a rainbow map and surprise, surprise, it's very colourful. And why don't I actually, in, in the way of showing you around it, why don't we imagine I'm working with a client. Uh, the clients come to me because they are reporting episodes in their life uh, where they trigger into fight flight, into a fight flight state 
and they're saying and doing things which is causing them um, unacceptable levels of discomfort and perhaps others around them. So we wouldn't be using the rainbow map in the first session, but we've had a chat about it. We've decided to, to use it uh, and see whether it uh, might be of use and benefit in the work we're doing together. So the first thing I would do is I'd have a chat with them uh, about what it's like to be them when they're in their untriggered state. And maybe we'd start over on the emotions column here. Uh, and the untriggered state is uh, this green band. This is when we're in that okay place. We're not in fight, flight, or high play dead. Uh, and so what about, what would their emotions be? So maybe when they're in that okay place, they feel loved or connected. We'd have a chat then about their thoughts. Uh, I like to split that into styles of thinking and typical thoughts. So maybe their styles of thinking when they're in that okay place is they're creative, open-minded, Maybe typical thoughts are, let's do it, let's do that again, I'm enjoying this. And we come across to sensations. I don't personally notice very much, but we'd have a chat about any sensations that they notice about themselves uh, when they're in that okay place. So singers, uh, people into meditation, mindfulness, sometimes they do notice things. So maybe they notice their breathing being steady or relaxed shoulders. And then over to behaviours, um, what sort of behaviours? And I'm using that in a very general sense. Uh, maybe uh, they're, it, it, they like socialising or watching their favourite soap or cooking or walking the dog. Uh, or perhaps they notice something about their voice, like it's uh, steady or it, the pitch is low. Uh, so all of that in the behaviours is what they notices about themselves but this is what the outside world could also see or hear uh, uh, in connection with uh, this person and then we'd start to have a chat about what's what they notice in terms of their emotions as they start to trigger up what are the first emotions they start to notice as they start to go into this fight flight state so maybe they notice themselves getting increasingly angry or frustrated or perhaps frightened, or maybe they start to feel a little bit exposed. And then we come across to the thoughts, styles of thinking, maybe they start to feel a little bit pessimistic, maybe they become critical of others, uh, and uh, or maybe they become increasingly untrusting. And typical thoughts might be, not this again, no one's listening to me. So in sort of speech marks. And then we come across to sensations. What we do, in, in the way I approach it, it's sort of like a scan from the head down. So what are the, and I'm particularly interested in the first thing they notice in terms of sensation. So maybe they notice the jaw clenching. And then we might have a chat about whereabouts do they notice that first. So maybe it's rear jaw clenching. Perhaps they notice their mouth getting dry. And again, we'll have a chat about, is it a particular part of their mouth? So maybe they notice their tongue getting dry first. And then coming over to behaviours, uh, we'll have a chat about uh, the sort of behaviours that they start to notice about themselves as they trigger up. Uh, so perhaps they start to notice themselves binge eating or uh, they notice themselves exercising in a more intense way or perhaps they're drinking more. Uh, but again, going back to voice, they notice the volume of the voice going up or the pitch of the voice going up. So hopefully you're starting to see what the rainbow map uh, is, is, is aimed at helping clients achieve, which is a more refined and, and uh, distinct awareness of how the mind, brains and bodies change as they start to trigger up. I mean, I call it now reflective mind, reactive brain and reactive body and you can see a module on the website that goes into that uh, uh, reflective mind reactive brain body model that's now being used by many psychotherapists and counsellors in their work um, both to support their work with the rainbow map or just as a psychoeducational self-help tool so then maybe we'll have a chat about how high they go up in terms of the triggering so maybe they experience fury or hatred Bearing in mind right at the top here, 
you're not really going to remember much because as evolution has it, when we're fully triggered, we are completely reactive to what's going on within us and outsiders. Our ancestors uh, survived and, uh, and passed their genes down to us. And the ones that did that were incredibly powerful and quick in the way they reacted to threats around them, um, which uh, could be a predator or it could be another human perhaps wanting to harm them. So we might work across this higher level or we might not. Perhaps that might be rather upsetting. But so we've got an idea of what it's like to be in that yellow zone, which is to me is a transitional area. Uh, uh, and therein lies uh, therapeutic gold dust and the same below in that triggering down into hide play dead state. And so back in 2016, 17, I introduced the trigger cycle column. And the reason for that is and I was experiencing this and other therapists who were using the rainbow map were reporting the same thing, that anyone who triggered up into the yellow or orange or red bands would spontaneously, nearly all of them would talk about a period in the hide play dead part of the rainbow map. And so they might talk about feeling afterwards rejected or defeated or ashamed or in terms of their thoughts, maybe uh, they were, instead of being critical of others up here, they were self-critical. Uh, or perhaps they felt um, untrusting again. In terms of their sensations, maybe they felt numb or low in energy. Uh, in terms of behaviour, maybe they noticed themselves isolating. Or their voice felt flat and monotone. And Maybe we would then talk about how low they went. And so... So I started to see how many people had a cycle, especially if they triggered up into the fight flight area. Some people trigger straight down into uh, high play dead. And I talk about that at more length in the mind, brain, body, self-awareness module, which goes into using the rainbow map in at much more depth and breadth. So in came the trigger cycle column and this allowed us to plot and see in a very sort of visual way what it's like to be the person say as they trigger up from their own k place into that sort of intermediate fight flight place where you've still got that reflective capacity you can say maybe i better not say that or do that uh, and then some people uh, go straight up uh, and the rainbow map and in other modules that talk about that can be used as an anger management tool as they rocket up into the orange and red areas and some people into mindfulness maybe activate resources and they sawtooth for a while before they finally trigger up uh, to the highest level some people don't go really out of the yellow band but if you go into the yellow band orange or red you're likely to experience and transition down into this hide play dead area and then some people plateau for a while before they recover some people uh, pretend to recover some people uh, go right into the depths the people who pretend to recover they often go even deeper once they start pretending and before they finally recover and then we will sort of total up the scores so to speak see how long they are in the fight flight and how long they are in the play dead typically up here it's minutes or hours and down here, it's typically hours, days, weeks, and for, in some cases, very sadly, months. And we'll note down the typical cycle duration, which can be a really useful resource and, and, and uh, for conversation. So for couples, if one's got a three-day cycle, one's got a half-day cycle, that can be a really useful piece of awareness for that couple, for example. And then we'll have a chat about uh, the trigger flag, uh, what's the first thing they notice? That was a dry tongue. And that means if you notice a dry tongue, that they will be experiencing all or some of what's in that yellow band. Or for the people who trigger straight down, the first thing they notice, they'll be experiencing all or some in that blue band. And that, as I've said, is uh, therein lies therapeutic gold dust. And, and um, you can sort of develop resources. So if they become untrusting of others, you can develop a resource that maybe brings forth visual memories or narrative memories of how people can actually be trustworthy, which can then arrest the speed of the triggering and also contribute to reconditioning. But again, I say much more about that in other
uh, module. My lovely image again. Well, hopefully you found this short introduction to the Rainbow Mapping website and YouTube channel of interest, and perhaps you've seen potential in some of the tools and concepts for use in your own practice, and perhaps directly in your own life. Well, that's about it for me for now, uh, other than to say that I am available to deliver training in person or on Zoom on any of the tools and concepts on the website and YouTube channel, free of charge to charities uh, who provide training to the volunteers uh, and also to commercial organisations that deliver training. All I ask is the fee that you would normally pay to an external trainer is donated to a charity for young people or the homeless. Well, I hope the rest of your day goes well and thank you for spending uh, your precious time with me today.